Autoloading works for namespaced classes too. For example, here we have a user class, which is in the app models namespace. In this example script, as before, we're requiring this file, creating a new object of the namespaced class, and printing out the value of the variable. When we run this, we get an object of that class, as expected. Let's replace the require statement with an autoloader. And again, just to see how this works, we'll print out the value of the class variable. When we run this, we get the class not found error as before, but note how the value of the class variable from the autoloader includes the full namespace. We can use this again to load the file where the class is defined. If we match the file and folder structure to the namespace structure, then this is very easy. The user class is in the app model's namespace, so the user.php file is inside a folder hierarchy that exactly matches, a models folder inside an app folder. So to get the file name from the class name and namespace, all we need to do is replace the backslashes with forward slashes, add dot PHP to the end, and require the result. And just a note to anyone using Windows, even though the resulting file name here will have forward slashes as the directory separators, this will still work. And when we run this, it works again creating an object of the namespaced user class. We didn't explicitly require this class, it was loaded automatically using the autoloader. This is the basis of PSR4 autoloading, which basically defines what we just did. Match the file and folder structure to the namespace structure, and it makes class autoloading really easy.